Hey guys, welcome to Judo Highlights. These will be all the top pawns for the European Championships, part one. So there's going to be a part two coming soon. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell. Also, we've got a Grand Slam coming up, so if you need a discount to Judo TV, it's 15% off. My code, Judo Highlights. And of course, if you need a Kuzakura Judo Gi, hit me up on Instagram. So let's get into it. This one here from Munzi. I think it was just a Wazari, but had to include it. Look at the movement, the fake, very deep Sioinage. A lot of the Italians doing just fabulous work with their techniques. Here's one from Esposito against Sagimuki of all people. I mean, just have a look at this technique. And Esposito, I mean, he's been on some great form recently. That is an excellent Sioinage. Now, is it true that you're weak to your own special techniques, your own Tokui Waza? I know Sagimuki, he is a, a Seoinage expert himself. Actually, for me, my strongest technique, probably also the Gari, but I'm definitely not weak against it. Let me know in the comments, guys. This is actually a technique I'm weak against, Uchimata, even though I've got long legs, but if you push my head down like Adami is doing here and kind of rotate my upper body, I'm going to go flying. A lot of tall guys don't really have the flexibility in the legs. And it's not really about getting that leg up. It's just kind of rotating them on, on the one leg. That makes it difficult for them. That's a beautiful, beautiful Ippon. And this one too. This was probably one of my favorites. Have a look at that. Grigalashvili. Just on fire recently. And throwing Esposito as well. Absolutely insane. Bashaev. Another one of those guys with a really nice Seoinage. And at plus 100s too. And you don't see drop down. Sioinage is at plus 100s that often. So a little flick of the gi, a bit of ashiwaza to square up the feet. It's really important to get your opponent's feet square so you can just go in there. Now this also for I thought I thought White's knees were going to explode the way he defended that. And I'm good he went over clean. That was really nice. Flat on his back. Now this is a nice combination from Jalo. He loves that combination there, Kochi Ochi and sometimes Ochi Kochi, but what he does is he strings it well together and then goes in for the Osotogari. Just really confusing his opponent, giving him lots to, lots to think about and making him move as well in that direction. Angvari now, I feel like he's been on the IGF tour scene for the longest time, isn't he like 35 or something? Look at this, Tanya Toshi, classic, fake with the leg. And would you believe, here's another one from the man, this time in Uchimata Skashi. Gets up immediately, and he loves it. Now Blue, he tries the cross grip Uchimata, but the problem with the cross grip Uchimata is you're not really controlling the head, and so it just makes that Uchimata Skashi a lot easier, it actually it kind of sets up the grips for you. Sometimes people like to take a cross grip when they do Uchimata Skashi. Sode going off the wrong side. Still though, nice Ippon there. And then Frank DeWitt. He had a good day at the European Championships doing his classic judo. Look at this. How about that? Now is this a Tanya Toshi? I guess it is. Just kind of dumps him though, look at that. Flat on his back. Now this is something I like to do against people who do Uchimata. Just taking that supporting leg out from underneath them. I mean they are kind of hopping into the Uchimata, right? So if you time it right, you can really sweep them off their feet. Bit of Newaza for you guys now. Now White, Madsen, I don't know why. He didn't get off the tatami quicker. He was just kind of lying there for a little bit. And Dawson jumped on top of him and took advantage of the situation. Good opportune stuff there, but if you don't want to middle in the Nawaza, you really shouldn't be down there. Now that was a brilliant Orchigodi entry by Spikers. And Blue, I mean, he does really well to defend it. But then, good combination. Throws the Ochi, and then a little bit of a pull before going in for the Seoinage. Squares up the feet, and flat on his back. That's really nice to see. Big Sode here at plus 100s, another technique you very rarely see. Probably one of the rarest techniques at plus 100. Look at that. 
And a bit of lift as well. It's pretty hard to lift those big guys, especially with that technique. Driving Orchigati here. Breaks the grip off with two hands and then takes that back grip. And then I like how he kind of started the technique and then went for the sleeve grip. This here, kind of a sneaky, I guess you gotta call it a Yoko Otoshi. Sticks the leg out there, kind of like a Kosoto, but just the, the low, kind of driving action. It's gotta make it into a Yoko Otoshi. That was a nice one. Quick thinking at the lightweights. Now this is an awkward throw. Goes in for a Katagruma but misses it. But somehow he just managed to have one hand still on. You can see when he goes in he wants to get his head under that arm but didn't get it. And then just stayed aware. Knew he had a hand on and it just kind of magically fell into that Seoinage position. Now how about this for a powerful Marote Seoinage. Doesn't get much better than this. Just smashed him right into the mat. Now this one, really nice on the edge of the mat. Big surigoshi. You can always tell when people, you know, they've got a sleeve, they've got a top grip, and then they take their hand off, go for the belt, or somewhere on the lower back. Almost guaranteed to see this throw come out. It's either that, maybe a sumigaishi. Catches him well here. As White goes in. Blue. Watch his left hand. Just takes a deep grip around the waist. And then a driving, powerful Tani Atoshi. This next one just shows really good understanding of the rules. So, kind of awkward, goes behind him. But then just rolls him over. Sumi Atoshi rolls him over quickly on his back. So this is now a, an accepted score. Everyone knows that this is okay to do and just very well executed. I don't think I've seen that being done as a technique. Usually you see it done as a counter. And for Ippon too, amazing. Shoves out Tosh really now. Getting a bit of air time with his opponent here. Picks him up. And you can see Blue trying to defend with the feet inside the hips. Which is a good defense, but shout out to Ashwili, he knows what he's doing. And eventually gets him down to the ground. So Loglu gets thrown, demolished into the ground here. By a wonderful also the gutty. Just a little touch on the outside. Not really looking for something, just using the Ashiwaza as a distraction. And have a look at this, see when I get another one from another Italian. I mean, these guys, these guys are getting real good. I'm pretty sure at the Olympics we're gonna see maybe one, maybe two medals from Italians. I mean, definitely at under 73, Lombardo, he's gonna be one of the favorites, right? He's a Guruma by Greg Lashvili against DeWitt. And DeWitt breaks off the grips, and then Gregor Lashvili follows him and executes that technique that's just amazing frame of mind and quick thinking. Nice Ochigari by Shabda Tawashvili here, does well to stay strong while he defends the Osotogari. Kristoff comes across here and it's a nice entry, but he just doesn't have enough hands on him. And then that kind of that grip there that Shafda Tosh really has, kind of up around the head. A lot of the Mongolians do that with their Ochigari. This has got to be one of my favorites. A huge Utsuri Goshi. And I can't believe this is deep into this video, eight minutes in. I should have put this as number one. My god. Pikauri now and He's got an interesting Ochigari. He's got this Ochigari that I think he's going to get counted doing it one day. Just the way he jumps into it. I mean, he's so explosive that he gets away with it. But just the way he does it, I can see, you know, someone just lifting their leg, getting out of the way. And then because his posture is so broken, you know, Sumiyatoshi planting him into the mat. 
Now this is a, a double sleeve Osoto combination here by Tushishvili. Sorry, not double sleeves. He's got one hand on a sleeve and one hand on the opposite lapel. Look at that. Sasai Surikomiyashi by Tasuev. I don't care that it's just a Wazari. Have a look at this. This is unbelievable. Big man, great footwork. I mean, what more do you need? Speaking of more, part two, guys, coming soon. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.